<laughs> Ian. Hi, it's Kate Reynolds. Yeah, I was just, uh, I was just wondering, is that invitation to dinner still open? Oh. Well, if you can't get a babysitter, maybe I could just bring a pizza over. Uh, great. O okay, I I'll, I'll be over in a few. Okay. Sooner or later, we'll have to learn to clean up after ourselves. You and me both, especially if company's coming. Oh, hang on. How do we look? You look lovely. Hey, come on in. Hey, half mushroom, half pepperoni is ordered. <sighs> well, I've had a lot of pizza delivered in my lifetime, and never by anyone looking like you. <sighs> Danny agrees, don't you? Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, this is much cozier than I expected. Think of you as sort of a bare minimum kind of a guy. Well, pfft. Not that I do think of you. Huh. Of course, no, no, no. If this looks like home to you, it's uh, because of Eve. She did a wonderful job. Yeah. So half mushroom, half pepperoni, right? Right. Young man, you're going to sleep. You ready? OK, I'm going to put him down. Why don't you uh, make yourself at home and have some wine? Oh, great. Come on, say good night. Good night, Danny. Took a little longer than usual. Put the boy down. I hope you don't mind. I was just looking. I don't mind at all. We didn't like the wine then. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm not really very thirsty. All right. There's another bottle in there if you don't like this. No. no. You know, actually, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. Brennan and I drink it all the time. Maybe that's why. You know, I drank almost two bottles at Cellini's the other night. At Cellini's? Yeah, I mentioned it to you. It's that place we always eat. Right. Yeah, Brennan's a real connoisseur. I always let him choose the wine. In fact, sometimes I let him pick the wine. I can't let you do this. I'm sorry, I have to be honest with you. Okay. I was there. Where? At Cellini's. I don't understand. The other night I was there at the restaurant just having a drink and I saw you. You saw me? Yes. And you were alone. I don't know what you're talking about, Ian. I saw you there at the restaurant. You were there. No. Not me. The bartender knows you, Kate. In fact, I asked him, I said, can you send a bottle of wine over to him? Who, I thought it was you and your boyfriend. He says, no, no, that's uh, the owner of the restaurant. Because she always comes here alone. You were spying on me? I wasn't spying on you. <sighs> then why didn't you come over and say hello? Because I didn't want to invade your privacy. And you don't think that's what you're doing right now? We're becoming friends. No, we're not. No, we're not becoming anything. Friends don't treat friends like this. I know what you're going through. I... No! No, you don't know anything about me or my life. How dare you? How dare you do this to me? Not quite a punch there, Counselor. You deserve it. Deserve it for what? For telling you that you don't have to lie to me? You don't have to hide things from me? Hell, I don't. I'm not judging you. I just, I, I felt sorry for you, that's all. You felt sorry for me? You think I'm so pathetic that I have an imaginary boyfriend? You... No, wait, can you just listen to me? Whatever no, was... you, you know, I have heard enough. You set people up and then you spy on them. You are disgusting. Oh, well, hang on a second. Move. I'm not letting you go. Not letting I'm me... not letting you go, not like this. I mean it, Ian. Get out of my way. I'm not letting you go. Not like this. I have no intention of discussing my private life with you. Kate, You know, I... you, you follow me to a restaurant, and then you jump to conclusions because you see that I'm not with my boyfriend, and then you pump the bartender for information. I did what? Yeah, yeah I don't give a damn what no you have No one followed say. you anywhere. I went into a bar to have a drink. There are 10,000 bars in Manhattan. And I went to the one that you recommended. I thought we were becoming friends. 
Yeah, I thought so too, but I guess I was wrong. I guess so, because friends don't lie to each other, do they? Now, are you gonna get out of my way or do I have to scream bloody murder no, to go, get out of sure, here? Go, go. And keep running when somebody catches you in a lie. It's very mature. Oh, oh, you're gonna lecture me on maturity. Now, you know what? I don't think we're done here. So, I don't know what kind of fools you're used to dealing with, doctor, but you have no right to question me about my private life. It's not what I was doing. Is your life really so pathetic that you need to follow hey, me around? Hey, hey, hey. You're the one who keeps telling me about this great guy of yours and how hard it is to have a long-distance relationship. And then you tell me about this wonderful evening you spent with him. Well, so I asked you about it, because I thought maybe you'd want to talk about it. I was wrong. You didn't want to talk about it, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Does this I'm so concerned about my friends act really work for you? What's the matter with you? This is not an Save act. the bell. It's the hospital. I gotta go. Yeah, another friend in need. You know, I don't have time for this right now. I gotta wake up my son, get the babysitter, and oh, get no, to work. No, don't. Don't what? Don't wake the baby. I'll watch him. You'll watch my boy after we, what we yeah, just... Yeah, yeah, after everything that you did. You know, I don't like you, Ian, but Danny is a great little kid. So just, just go, okay? You, knew, you said you had a hard time putting him to sleep. Just let him be. I can make more calls to my imaginary boyfriend. Ah, all right, okay, I got it. Um, no more questions about your private life. So what is this? You trying to make me feel guilty? You know, it's not all about you, Ian. I like Danny, even though I think his father is an ass. How's that for honesty? It's a start. Does it feel strange? Ian, if you want me. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, it's me. Uh, I miss you so much. I wish more than anything I could be with you right now. No one understands. No one can possibly. 